Johnny Walker on the top, running through the clock. Man, once again, we appreciate y'all comments, man. We appreciate y'all love. We appreciate share, share, share like you don't fucking care. Y'all are funny. I love it. Listen, keep sharing, keep showing love. We'll keep bringing you great content. Now, I met a chick. I met a young lady. I was trying to have her on. Maybe I'll bring her on later and y'all can get at her or whatever <laughs> in the process. She said she ain't she don't she don't know a chick that never had sex for money basically for the own people that some of some niggas gonna take care of them or a nigga that's you know he gonna buy her this buy her that and blah 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 she's never met a type of chick like that any chick that says some shit like that they not like that are liars hmm. huh. i said i know someone like that I said my co-host is one. She's like, it's like I said it's like ten percent that's not like that, and ninety percent. I know ninety percent, and I know the ten percent. And not, and I said my co-host is one who has like you don't fuck with niggas because they got bread or whatever. Yeah, right no, now. I I don't sleep with or be in a relationship with a dude because he can take care of me. I can take care of myself. Now, dudes I've been with had money. Yes. That wasn't the purpose of me being with them, though, because I'm always self-sufficient first. I take care of myself. I can feed myself, clothe myself, pay my own bills. Mm. I choose to be with men. So if I choose to be with you, I choose to be with you with whatever it is you have. Would it be appreciative if you can take care of yourself the way I can take care of myself? So now collectively together, we are okay? Yes. Right. Will I be with someone who has less than me? Yes, because I'm not looking for someone to take care of me. Mm -hmm. So that's just me. I don't judge other girls for doing it. That's just my preference. Okay. Um, again, I, 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 and I know big bitches lying. I can imagine because there's a lot of girls, you bitches is lying. She's a fucking liar. Blah, blah, I'm not, blah. actually. I had a whole debate with this young lady. And it was like, it, it, she's not the only one I know like that. So I do know somebody else is like that. Now, it, it came up because <laughs> I'm like, she was letting me know about a dude she, she fucked with who was some fat, black, ugly nigga. Mm. Like, and most of you chicks, y'all could do that. I mean, it, it's like it's the- it's, I, I honestly it's, can't. It's, it's like it's the fucking trait, right? Nah. Like all like that, back and forth, Birkin. Like who's this mm. city girl shit? Yeah, no. All the chicks, that's what you know. I'm not even into bags and stuff like that. So me fucking for one is definitely not happening. Most yeah, most y'all females, that's what y'all about. You're horse. You're hookers. Uh hookers? Yes, no, hookers. You're hooker. Now, I mean, what do you call that? Like what do you call a woman that's that's basically fucking with a nigga specifically for and then it don't even matter. Alright, so she had a nigga, this nigga was like four hundred pounds. And I say, yo, it, it, and she was running for a while. I'm like, yo, you, A, there's no way you had a good time fucking this nigga. Okay, that's A. B, you had to be cheating on him. Now, she admitted that, I was like, I was like so what do you do, move his fat to suck his dick? You know, she said, she, he didn't, <laughs> a lot of fat niggas would be mad. She's like, he didn't let me do that because he knew he had a little dick. So mostly he just hit it from the back. But then you're not feeling nothing. Okay, so... Because you got a big old ass. I have to chime in. Mm. When it comes to sex, I'm very realistic about it. And you got to also be in tune with yourself when it comes to sex. So for me, I've had sex with a guy who had a little penis. <laughs> but the sex was awesome. It was awesome. You got to know what you're working with. And been... just because someone is fat with a little penis doesn't mean he don't know how to have sex. You can have a guy with a big penis and don't know how to do shit, which makes it worse. Because it's like your dick is already big and you don't know how to use it. Right. It's a problem. So sexually, I don't prejudge okay. sexually because you never know. But 
physically is where the line crosses for me. Okay. So you may have good sex as a fat dude. Right. But I can't get past the fat. So I won't know. Okay. That's just me. Right. It got to be some physical attraction for me to even get to the sexual part. But I'm not knocking anyone that's big. I'm not saying they can't have sex. I'm not saying they dick ain't good. 400 pounds is a lot of fucking weight. It doesn't matter. You got a nigga that's 100 pounds wet and could hurt you worse than the fat the 400 pound nigga. His bones is sharp. You know, in between your legs, it could feel like a, you know, a, a knife stabbing you. I don't know. I'm just saying. I just feel like it's hard for the strokes. There's a lot of friction. Mm, maybe. And Merry Christmas. Big, but I'm not and, gonna and sleep with someone time. that I'm not physically attracted to just for yeah. money. So and, and that and, I'm not. Doing. And that's what I'm like. And I'm like, so you and she's kind of like, yeah, I still talk to him because you still it's still beneficial, right? So it's still beneficial because you're giving the money. Now I know a lot of females. And my thing is just like, yo, where, where do you? What do you? And y'all can comment. But what do y'all call yourselves when y'all do it? And I get it though. I understand. I understand. Now all of a sudden it's fucking barking all in the background. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> It was quiet as shit. Uh, I understand, like, yo, I, right, everybody got to hustle. Fuck with nigga, whatever, whatever. F- twerking for a Birkin. Jimmy Crack Corn. There's a lot of, and there's a lot of women out there. There's a lot of women out there who, who fuck with ugly niggas for money. Because most of the ugly niggas got to pay. That's, that's just what, if you an ugly nigga, you got to pay. Like, that's it. You know but, what I'm saying? It's rare that you, you, you know what I mean? Like, for example, what you about to say? I'm about to say, all right. Sometimes physically you can be unattractive, but your characteristics gives you some prettiness about your physical dilemma or whatever you may call it. So he could be physically ugly to some, but because of his characteristics, you know, he's a cool dude, understanding, that makes him attractive. <laughs> Gotta be understanding. You understand you ugly as shit. Wait a minute. Okay. okay. I got you. Are you understand? That's the understanding okay. part. You look like dog shit. Or now you can start <laughs> barking. Oh, oh. Or now you don't want to bark. Uh, Did I catch you now? Oh damn. You know, God dog. Damn. Okay. But, Ma- but, maybe I'm just being a little subtle or humble. I don't yeah. know. But you know. So now. So now. Now to, to the to the and like I want y'all y'all gonna probably gonna go back and forth about this under the comments right because it's a fact that you know. Some women just don't believe that they, you bitches is lying. And some women be like, you bitches is stupid. Now, what do you call a woman that tell you, you stupid for not fucking with a nigga if he offers you X, Y, and Z? Because on the last show, you said, like, you, if a nigga start asking you for your shoe size, then you're not, you're already on the wrong foot. Don't ask me that. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. don't come at me like that. I don't need you to get me nothing. Right. Chicks is like, this bitch is dumb. They, and they could feel like that. That's their opinion. But for me, I'd rather have my own. So I feel like if I carry myself a certain way, then a real dude naturally is going to treat me the way I treat myself. That's how I look at it. So if you see how I keep myself, you're going to help keep myself that way. And vice versa for me. If I meet a dude and he keep himself a certain way, right. I'm a... I'ma treat him the way he keep himself. Now you have some dudes that I've been with a dude that made me look at things a little differently, and made me want to step my game up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's and elaborate. I'm I'm self efficient, like far as uh, let's see, with my hair. I don't really care about mm. my hair. I'll come outside with a hat, mm. ponytail that I haven't combed in three days. But That's because you got here. Though. Maybe mm. I don't know, mm. but now this dude made me want to be like, you know what, let me just try to keep my hair up a little more. Mm. You understand? Okay. Just because the way he carried himself, so mm. I want to be a representation of that. So, it, you know, it made me want to put more effort I into my that. hair. I so, little things like that. Like you can meet a dude and you feel like, okay, I feel like I'm fine the way I do my hair. Mm. Or not do it. Mm. You know? So, certain little things like that. And okay. vice versa, a guy can meet a girl and make him want to step his game up a little bit more too like you know mm-hmm. you feed off each other i guess i get that okay so 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 to to what what pride is it or is it an upbringing you think you think it's an upbringing like this chick was brought up like a hooker or or, or so what pride is it to to feel like 
And I'm not knocking you, I just mm -hmm. keep fucking with y'all. Right. <laughs> Saying hooker. This nigga called me another fucking hooker. So what pride is it that you have that you feel like they don't have? Like what qualities that like you feel like yo they just grew up a certain way to where it's like they don't they don't have pride in themselves? No, I don't feel like that. So for me it's like a control thing. Mm. I feel like if you with a man and he's taking care of you, he's gonna have more control over you because he's taking care of you you're gonna need certain things and you got to do certain things to make him or keep him happy to get what you need from him mm. and me i'd rather not be controlled so i'd rather be self-efficient and be with a dude that knows he can't use that leverage over me to mm. control me so for me it's a control thing okay for me. So, okay boom so because i know a chick whose whose motto she used to have a motto and I've heard it plenty of times in places. It was like, it was like hook a crook. <laughs> get it how you get it. And this is how she was brought up, okay? Attractive young woman, uh, <laughs> but she always fucked with the ugly niggas for, mm -hmm. for specifically, because they had the money and they would do X, Y, and Z for them. I don't knock nobody's hustle. And I mean, at None. which, where, where, then you got a question, where does, your actual feelings of love come in and actual relate because so i guess some women could go all right i'll give you an example and I, I i respect her hustle and i wish like my 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 people's moms like my sister's mother mm -hmm. my sister's mother same father's different mothers my sister's mother always fucked with like kingpin drug dealer ass niggas. okay always she's dominican okay that was her shit. not not from my father. I guess she learned from after my father. <laughs> my piece of shit ass, R. Kelly ass father. This nigga is the original R. Kelly. <laughs> my mother was like 16, her mother was 14, and this nigga was like 20 something. <laughs> and he still looks at young girls to this day. <laughs> this shit is ridiculous. I can't even get in a car with this nigga. He'd be like, yo, look at that over there. And like, look at what? Right there. He's a fucking high school. Your father look better than you? My father, no. no. I, I won. I'm oh. taller than him too, so I won't oh, even hold. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he like old across old enough across street, old enough to get this meat. This nigga's a freak <laughs> ass nigga. So I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Uh, <laughs> so you know, he she would always do that, and you know, eventually, like, the nigga, this nigga's in both all of them in prison. All her father, daughter, her, her kids' father's in prison. You know, if it was kingpin. That thing. So you know, I mean, she's set up. I I don't necessarily know she had love. She would curse you the fuck out. Okay, I don't necessarily. So I, that's the question I got under here. Uh, if, if you're more mature in the game of fucking with niggas for money, are you really in love? Do you? Because something like I don't need love. I got this. You know. Right. Which eventually becomes a business. I, I get it. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, maybe you got scorn. You was like, oh fuck it, I'm gonna do it this way, mm -hmm. and it makes sense because at least I'm happy like this. I don't know. I don't knock your hustle for real. So you know what I'm saying. I get it, but it's just like it seems like it's unhappy to me. And then Shorty with that was fucking with the fat nigga. He was like, yeah, I cheated all the time. Well, I don't know. For me, I just, I feel like if you're with someone because they're taking care of you, there's always going to be things that you do that in a normal relationship you won't probably be able to do. So I guess it depends on the stage in life that you're in and what you require and what your situation is at the time. Because, you know, younger well, I can't even say for me because young guy still was self-sufficient. Even younger, I didn't mess with someone for what they could do to me, do right. for me. Right. But I also did choose men who can sufficiently take care of themselves because you can that makes sense. Too. You can that actually sense get a man who can't take care of himself, and now it's like you're taking care of him. Mm. And a lot of times you probably see memes or, you know, read stories about girls taking care of niggas and then it'd be like, oh, they dick is good. Yeah, for me, I I, I choose to not be. Have you ever had a uh, damn this nigga dick is good? I'll, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm cool. Like, all right, so his dick is good and you're sac like you like you're not. Your standards are kind of lower, not really lower, but it's like this nigga dig is good, so I let this pass. I let I let this fly type. Thing. No, so for me, the 
the people I've had sex with, they were situationships. Okay. I went and called them relationships. Now that I'm looking back on them. I knew to myself I wasn't going to take them serious. I wasn't looking for marriage or anything like that. It was good for the time. Right. So, for me, it's I've never been dip, dick with, as you say. Mm. Accepted things because, oh, the dick was good. No, I've never been this like that. Lying. I've had some good. No, no, no. Lying. I've had some good penis, but for me, it's <laughs> like I've never had good enough penis to make me do stupidness. Like, you know, okay. like I've never leased a car or bought Ooh. a car for a guy. Big. A lot of y'all have. Yeah, I've never I know done some that. of y'all that do that shit. I've never Big. done that. So, Big. you uh. know, things like that. I'm not knocking nobody for doing it, but. I've just never done it. I've Shout never had though for holding it down. Right. I never had any penis that made me feel like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. I love you. Nah, I'm like, Shout <laughs> Not to, to say that I won't get caught up because you know, life is still going on for me. So who knows? Nah, so they fuck with these dudes with money. Now, to 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 piggyback off of this, right? There's a lot of, and me and you were talking about this. There's a lot of dudes with money that's corny as shit. Yes. Money don't make you ill. It don't make you that nigga. But this is cool. I, I see example. Um, so I, I never been had to been the one to be doing all that shit with the spending and all that shit. And, you know, whatever, whatever. Most dudes got to do that. Again, they corny, they ugly, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like when you first, like when you first got to come up to somebody presenting the money. Then you know what I mean? Like, how do you even do? Like, I think a lot of dudes put themselves in fuck. Nigga, was that a nigga? God damn it! <laughs> was this nigga on me? That was a whole beat. This nigga was fucking. He ain't stinging though. This the outside shit. This what we got. So, so. God damn it! You know, maybe forget what trade it to. All right, so um, I the dudes with money, right? Boom. That's what I'm talking about. The fucking beat just fucked my trade the thought up. Oh, all right, yeah. Get it together. So I. I I never been that dude that had to do that shit, right? So then there's some stupid dudes out there who get themselves caught up. Y'all niggas is dumb. If you get yourself caught up with a chick mm -hmm. or some bullshit, when you presented her, the first thing you come with the paper, that's what she asked you for. How you know she down with you for real or whatever? She's with you for the paper. Y'all get caught up like that. So that's right. dumb. How do you know? You don't if know. That's the first thing That's the you first presented. thing you present. Like, yo. That's a little weird to me because I've had dudes to approach me and be like, oh, yeah, I'm getting money now, so I'm coming for you. What does that mean for me? Like, you view me as Peter, someone who only deals with dudes for money? Because I felt offended I could, I could, by that. I could see, because before I met you, met you, and I looked at you, mm -hmm. I could see how it's hard to read that you got to have X to deal with you. So I could see that. I could see a nigga doing that thing. But I, I, was, I was always confident in, in situations. With like that, right? So let's say I go in, I'm in the room because I got a, a lot of friends with a lot of money. And I, sometimes I'm used. And sometimes I'm not. I just come in the room. Let's say it's, it's them and a bunch of bad chicks and then it's me. And I walk in and I'm being me. Mm. So now they looking at me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not presenting bread and all that because I ain't got like these niggas. Got. I ain't, you know, I'm, like, I'm not sitting there and if I did, I'm not throwing it away. Nigga, I'll take Anyway. That's another level. So, 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 I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Say, so they now they met. So I, I don't need the bread. To, you know what I mean? I we been with them, the same chick you with. I'm with with a coke and a smile. Nigga could be in market. But then sometimes they use me like, yo, yo, come through. We got some chicks here. And right. just, so now I can. Enter, I'm entertaining. That's why I like him. Entertaining. I mean, well, you a comedian. I mean, that ain't that. Yeah. Oops, so. It's your birth? Yeah. I thought you fought it. What? You thought I... I don't know. I, don't know. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. They, okay. they might not okay. have heard it, so you probably fine. So, it's a silent. So, so uh, you know, they, we, we get, you know, I just, them dudes, I don't know. I never, I I, I always had, can have something real off the of me talking to a chick. You know what I'm saying? Regular. But y'all niggas, y'all be setting yourselves up. Focus. Pay attention. But I, I here's what I have a problem with. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with dudes who should know better than trying to even shoot their shot at certain females mm. that 
I have a problem well, with. Well, it's so, the temp, I'm a, okay, go ahead, what's that? <laughs> so I feel like if you see a female and you, you size her up and then you size yourself up, I don't care how much confidence you think you have, you shouldn't just approach that female. If you know to yourself, like, damn, I can't keep up with shorty, mm. keep it to yourself. Admire from afar because that really blows my gasket. When people who, and I'm not saying I have high standards and I'm not saying I'm on top of the world. I'm not, but if you know you ain't got a 401k or medical benefits, dental insurance, life insurance, don't talk to me. Life. Because I feel like I carry myself enough to show you that I have all these things. So you know you don't have them, don't talk to me. Mm. I just, I feel disrespected. <laughs> so, so, so. The dial in the dream doesn't work for you. Basically. Um. Uh, yes and no. It can work. Are you at the point now of uh of of, of, of you getting with a dude that all right help help build the dude? Yes, I'm all for the elevation. Okay. I'm all for elevation. That I'm not saying I'm not. I'm all for elevation, but you gotta be already in the process to want to elevate for me to stay and help you elevate okay i'm definitely for the elevation definitely for it definitely mm. at least she's at least she's for the elevation probably yes i am i do and i yeah. i tried to elevate and this Couple one guy this one guy he know who i'm talking about i try to elevate him and he just <laughs> now that we're not together he's Taking heed to the elevation that I was trying to uh, instill in him. So he, and, so. He, and he's trying to show you, like, yo, come yes. back. Yes, yes. Okay. No, not come back, but just okay. letting me know, like, yeah, I'm listening, kind of like, you know? You know, I care for him. I care. I care. I care for you. Yeah. Hey, you I care for you like a brother. That's all you get. Not well, least, like a brother. At least. But I care for him. Oh, you don't give a shit. Cheers. No, not like a brother. At least you know that you know they with the elevations so yes i'm definitely for the elevation okay good all right well, some people don't know you know some people think what they're doing is good you don't know you know so if i can enlighten them and vice versa if someone can enlighten me i'm all for it mm. yeah Personality, i don't know everything but know what's going on definitely know what's going on in life definitely jimmy crack corn <laughs> yo <laughs> <laughs> all right you got anything else uh, no. No. Listen, we appreciate y'all. We happy y'all with us this morning. Thank y'all for watching Bustello Talk. Once again, comment, share, go crazy under here. We're going to have some chicks losing it. Some other chicks going back and forth about Don't these. judge me because I'm not judging you. Yeah, I'm just gonna speaking be my battle. opinion and my truth. Some may agree, some may not. You bitches. Lying. <laughs> Fuck out of here. That bitch is crazy. I'm getting my I'm bag. I got my nigga bag, for money. bitch. I, 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 I get to my bag. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Let him smell it for that bag, you know. <laughs> so, and then Real I would say, bitch, whore. give a fuck by the nigga. Yeah, she, she, she bad training. <laughs> Who shit is bad training? Father, stay in your daughter's life. Big Birkin yeah. bag, whole five, six figures. It's bad representation. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time on Bustello Talk. Good morning.